Okay guys, um, we opened the PlayStation and I took out the uh, SSD. Uh, if you remember, if you look at my other clip, this is the uh, Samsung 990 Pro. I'm gonna have a look and see uh, what's the status on it. I actually bought um, um, an enclosure case so I can connect it to my computer and uh, have a look at it. I bought this uh, on uh, Amazon. Uh, I think it was $27 I paid. And uh, yeah, we'll see if uh, it actually fits, uh, if it can. I just need to be able to connect. So, you know, I could have just bought, bought a dock. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, I just bought the cheapest thing I can find uh, so I can connect to my computer. So, guys, I actually opened it up. It's very interesting. Um, this is actually a heatsink, as it, it looks like. So the actually outer shell of it is actually a heatsink. You can see I've opened it. I wonder if I can actually fit it in. Should be able to fit in, I believe. Let's see. I mean, I don't need to close it. I just have to um, uh, slide it in. Looks like it can't fit in, so that's good. Let's see? Ah, cool. So, as you can see, I just have to screw it in, in here. So does it come with screws? Yes, it does. It does come with screws, which is good. Now there is another screw that I'm looking for, which um, this was on top. Where did I put it? Just gonna look for the screw. There we go, I actually found the screw, it's right here. But that goes on top. I wonder if this, I don't think it can close on it. No, it cannot. Because this is, a, I'm not gonna use this to be able to connect. So I'm not really gonna be caring about this. I'm not gonna open this because I'm using this for the PlayStation. But for those of you who want to um, use this for your computer, you know, you can just um, unscrew this um, heatsink case and uh, just take out the um, SSD and stick it in there. It should be good. Make sure you use the thermal pad as the instructions say. Make sure that the thermal pads are there. Unless uh, you can leave the thermal pad that's in, on there already. Um, I'm just gonna screw, screw this in. I'm just gonna pause this for a second. Okay, found something interesting about this. Um, I was wondering why there's no any gray plastic, um, no gray plastic, it looks gray. If you look very closely to the picture, you'll notice this gray uh, knob kind of holder that holds the SSD. Um, this particular one didn't come with it, but I did find um, this rubber. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you. Comes, there's two rubbers uh, like this. This rubber is actually you need to push push it down into the hole uh, gently. Don't 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 use too much force. You don't want to break the. You don't want to break it, um, and uh, then it fits in and will hold it. I'm just doing this so it can hold it and doesn't, you know, move. It's very important that uh, it's fitting in properly, so I had to make sure that this is in. Um, I'm gonna connect it, and then we're gonna find out the status of this SSD. Yes, I've connected the um, SSD uh, that's in the closure to my 
dock here, as you can see. Um, so yeah, um, we'll go move to the next phase and see what uh, what it actually shows. Um, let me know what you find on yours and if you had any issues uh, connecting yours. Um, I'm happy to uh, help you, or um, and also very much interested to know uh, on your findings. So I'm not sure if there's an issue uh, with mine. The thing is, it really depends on the use. Um, I think I have to probably write more my SSD to see any issue. Um, there was a page um, that I read on Tom's hardware uh, about uh, Samsung that's releasing a new firmware for this particular version, uh, which uh, addresses the, um, the the problem that uh, users uh, reported with the SSD. Um, I think it's going to be released sometime according to the article uh, later this month. Um, but uh, yeah, as you can see, it looks good. Um, I can show you also on this management. I'm not sure if there's anything we can see there in terms of use. I'm not more than happy to show you. So um, I'll flick to the uh, this management and show you. But if this is the one. So I can probably assume that. Uh, 200 uh, something uh, gigabytes is only used. If it's only showing 1.8 here of terabytes, but uh, I could be wrong. But the thing is, this partition is not no longer Windows. Um, but yeah, um, probably I have to get to 1.5 uh, terabytes if I see any indication. One more thing I forgot to uh, show you. Before you uh, just unplug your um, SSD, make sure you use this safely remove uh, hardware and inject media. It's very, very important that you do that. Just to ensure you're not going to damage anything uh, with your SSD. So, um, not that I think you would do it that but it's always advisable that you inject the CK as the operating system Windows is not doing anything okay with it. So um, you just click on eject whatever uh, you actually use you, you know because when you plug in it will come here you see something new here that something new to read the dock uh, or adapter that you connect and this, in this case this is, this is the one um, I think it is a real tech this uh, particular one is using uh, a real tech chip you can see real tech RTL so th this is the um, um, the enclosure of Eco M.2 and in E M2 PVC3 that I ha I showed you initially. Um, it's using this particular chip uh, chipset. So I'm gonna click on it and it should eject. So when this message comes up, you know you're safe to disconnect. So I'm gonna dis disconnect it now. And it's disconnected. That's it, guys. I'm going to connect it back to the uh, PlayStation. Um, if you want to do the same, uh, and let me know what you, your findings are, um, I'll be more than happy to uh, to hear from you. So feel free to comment down here and let me know uh, how you go with your SSD.
Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.